With the power to transform, satisfy, and enhance life, nutrition is the single most important environmental influencer on a pet's health and well-being. That is why the American Animal Hospital Association has released the Nutritional Assessment Guidelines for Dogs and Cats to ensure a nutritional assessment and food recommendation for every pet, every time. Like temperature, cardio function, respiratory health, and pain, many of your colleagues now consider nutrition to be a fifth vital assessment as part of every physical exam. By assessing and recommending nutrition for every pet at every visit, you are building stronger relationships with your clients and providing the very best care for your patients. But what are the keys to success? Listen to your peers who are integrating nutrition as the fifth vital assessment and hear what they say are critical elements of success. Over the years, it's become very clear that most animals need a higher level of nutrition and need special nutrition in order to stay healthy. And so it kind of evolved out of necessity for what's best for the patient. Practicing good medicine and incorporating nutrition into that philosophy is a natural thing. It's part of comprehensive health care. It is quite important that we do make sure they're on the proper diet and that you can make huge changes with certain pets just by changing their diet. When I've heard doctors say they don't want to be perceived as a pet food salesperson, the way I look at it is that really what you're not, you're not selling food. What you're selling is the health of an animal. A lot of our clients are very internet savvy. If we don't impart this expertise and education, they're going to look it up on the internet and come in and ask us why we didn't tell them this, whether it's a breed specific issue or nutrition. I think that the passion in, in our recommendations really shows. And I think that people realize that we're recommending it for the benefit of their pet, not for the benefit of the hospital's bottom line. If you're educated and your staff is educated, you know, you can talk with a client better and make better recommendations for people. It should be a team approach um, because you can't send a message without having everybody on board. It's like a basketball team. You may hand the ball off here and there and here and there, and it doesn't matter who shoots it as long as somebody gets it in the bucket. Team wins, animal wins. You paid me an office call, I have to give you I have to give you your money's worth and you know and then sometimes I'll ask clients I'll say well if you had mustard on your nose what do you want me to tell you and you know most everybody will say yes I want to know and I said well this goes with your pet. People want to do what's best for their pet. They really do and they need to be told and as a veterinarian people come to us for advice. We need to tell them they have mustard on their nose. We need to tell them that that dog is overweight and we need to help them and assist them in getting that weight down and letting that pet be a much healthier um, and live a longer life. If we weren't making the nutritional recommendations, I think it would be the foundation of a house of cards. And I think if you don't get every component in, it's going to fall apart somewhere down the road. Think about the snacks you have in your pantry. What are the things you love to eat? Are they high sodium, high fat? Well, guess what? Dogs are no different than people. They go after the yummy stuff, okay? <laughs> Will we have an entire diet based on, say, pork rinds and french fries? No, we would not because we'd be big as a house. There's little subtle differences of seeing what someone's doing, asking them why they're doing that, and leading them to think. Not even being eager to maybe even tell them, this is how you do it, or this is how I do it. Ask them how they're doing it. As somebody who wants to do the very best they can with you for this moment of time that you're buying, I want to make sure that I make the right recommendations from, from A to Z and not leaving any of them out because I'm too timid. And if I don't tell you something that's important because I'm too timid, shame on me. Shame on me. Time to go home. You've heard what your peers have to say. For more information on how to make nutrition the fifth vital assessment in your clinic, take the next step. 
Become familiar with the AAHA Nutritional Assessment Guidelines for Dogs and Cats and visit EveryPetEveryTime.com for helpful tips and tools.